a little bit from his nostril. And they continue to fight this spirited battle in the MGM Grand. And here the three of us are for the very last time together calling a boxing match during this George Foreman incarnation on HBO. And George, stick with us at the end of the night. We've got a very special tape piece oh, in good. which many, many members of the HBO family, creatively, of course, say goodbye to you. I'm sure you're going to be <laughs> all misty-eyed. Yeah, yeah. They had me a good Great meal last night. Yeah, yeah I, I know. And food. Still misty-eyed from uh, that, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> George, bring, you, bring more food. You're making comebacks as a fighter. It was fighter. diet food, though. You're making comebacks as a fighter. Who knows? You may make a comeback as an announcer as well. As long as I've got Larry, <laughs> it, it may happen. <laughs> you could train him, Larry. <laughs> they continue to work on Jesus Chavez's left eye. Miguel Diaz, as I mentioned, has done a phenomenally effective job so far on Eric Morales' right eye. We go to round eight of a spirited battle for a 130-pound title belt that currently belongs to the fighter in the camouflage trunks, Jesus Chavez. Chavez has done so much to get that title. It's not like it just was handed down to him. This guy deserves it. He's going to have to fight with all of his might to keep it. After all the body shots that Chavez has landed against Morales to this point, is Morales' corner dreaming when they ask him to go for the knockout against this guy? Yeah, they're dreaming when they tell him to get aggressive and get it. It's going to have to happen by way of a counterpunch. Stay in position, let him miss a little bit, and then go on top of him with the right hand. You'd be giving Eric exactly the opposite advice then, Yeah, huh? I tell him to use his jab, circle, don't get too far away from him, stay in the middle of the ring. Whenever he's in the middle of the ring, Morales has an advantage. When he gets up against the rope, just gets it in the body again. Chavez hustling, hustling, hustling. Undaunted by the two knockdowns in the second round, he has continued to pour on the pressure throughout the fight. And now the blood begins to trickle again from Morales' right eye. But there's that uppercut. As George said, can't miss. Can't miss. It just takes so much when you hit, when you're moving up in weight to constantly throw that shot, though. It takes a lot out of you. That weight makes a difference. When your opponent is like a rock, Chavez is. It takes a lot of energy to fight the way Chavez is trying to fight this fight. So far, he's this round, he's successfully smothering Morales and not letting him get off inside. Chavez is going left hook crazy as though he doesn't even have a right hand. Everything is bottom right, bottom right. What about a right hand? Left, left hook to the body, left hook on top. Hope he hasn't hurt his right hand. Morales is using both hands. When you say Chavez is going left hand crazy, I'm told that Mark Ratner, executive director of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, was in Chavez's corner between rounds asking about his right hand. So maybe he's damaged it, although they insisted to Ratner that it was okay. Well, it's like he's saving it, it right left, hand. left, left, and he holds the right still at his fifth. And the guy shows him the right hand shot, and he will not take it.
CompuBox numbers in round eight. Morales threw 87 punches, Chavez threw 82. They landed just about the same number. Terrific action fight in Las Vegas. Mark Ratner, executive director of Nevada State Athletic Commission, told us between rounds, it is Jesus Chavez's right shoulder they're concerned about. Question is, has he damaged the right shoulder? He does have a history of rotator cuff trouble with that shoulder. Let's continue to watch Jesus Chavez. As George pointed out in the last round, he's not throwing the right hand. I don't understand, however, why Mark Ratner would go into the corner to find out. I mean, if he can fight with that, then he's got to fight. It's a good idea to keep your eye on these fighters, especially trying to stay out of any scandals. The commission would be concerned about not seeing right hands. I, I would be. Look at this. Jesus Chavez is still in the fight and giving Eric Morales all he can handle, only throwing the left hand. We have seen fighters win with one hand before. It isn't easy, but if you're going to have one hand, it might as well be the left. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you can jab, you can hook, you can still bob and weave. He is using the right for his defense. And you wonder. Why hasn't Morales caught on to it? And if he does, George, he if Morales figures out that Chavez can't throw the right, just stay, they stay over there to that right, make him make him throw it, and then catch him because he's he's not going to be accurate. Stay out of the range of the left. Have you ever had to fight with one hand, George? Oh, all the time. You make sure that one does the job. Though. But then I was only looking for punching room anyway. Because you could still knock the guy out with the other hand. For boxers, it's a lot different. They need both hands. But as, as Larry pointed out, for Chavez, the left hand is the good one. Now that left hand has got to be tied off the wire. Well, he's an he's an amazingly gritty competitor. I mean, pain isn't going to deter Jesus Chavez. There he tried to throw the right hand and just didn't release it. He's dropping the left hand now. He's dropping it, trying to rest it a little bit, and that's when the trouble can start for him. There it is. Morales catching Jesus Chavez with the right hand as Chavez is left, dangled at his side, exhausted. Now, if he catches too much thunder here, his, his corner better be concerned. Finally, Morales seems to realize he's got a wounded warrior in front of him. What a fight. What a fight. Jesus, keep going. Keep going. How are you feeling, Jesus? Are you okay? Get some water. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. You're doing perfect. You're doing winning. Don't carry him. Just move to the side. And then he, he, you got it. He doesn't want too much more. I can't believe Morales is not known about that right hand. Does not seem, they seem to be clueless. If they've said anything about it, we haven't caught it. Haven't, haven't said a word. Total in round nine, Chavez threw 88 punches. His high total for the fight, he threw them all with the left hand. Morales threw 95 punches in return. Harold, how do you have it through that? Okay, Jim, it's incredible. A guy could win a, a round with one hand. Uh, six rounds to three, 87, 82. Eric El Terrible Morales. I, I, I mean, Jesus Chavez, you know, the fight is scored on, on a point system. And Jesus Chavez, on my part, is five points behind with three rounds to go. So it really would take a miracle for Jesus Chavez to pull this out. Eric Morales, six to three. I have it five rounds to four, but three points. 
which means that Chavez would have to score a knockdown or win all three rounds just to get a draw. George, it's amazing. Chavez can't throw right hand at all, and he's tattooing Morales with left hands. And our interpreter, Ray Torres, confirms that not once has anybody in Morales' corner said something to him about the fact that Chavez isn't throwing right hand punches. It's amazing. That tells you a corner, some corners, His trainer is his father. Jose Morales. And I mean, again, we mentioned they, Miguel Diaz, but he's handling the cut. Go ahead. Could be they just don't care. That left hook is powerful that Chavez has. Chavez has got a good coming left hook. When you say they don't care, you're meaning they want Eric to just go fight his fight, right? That's right. Don't even tell him about a weakness. Some people don't care. Left hand, right hand, three hands. There it is. Chavez actually tried a right hand. And there was a little bit of a cheer that went up from the crowd. We have a uh, savvy crowd. We sure do. They've noticed. That he got in the nice body up, punching time, early on. Mark. Which probably took some of the snap out of Morales' punches. Yeah, he's gotten weak, but Morales can't do much about it because of those body punches. Meanwhile, you watch Chavez. Left hook to the body. Left hook to the body. Rotate, turn up. Left hook upstairs. And it's amazing, without balancing the attack at all with the right hand, he's landing. Good, quick left hook inside by Morales. Punctuates the round. Ten rounds in the books, two to go. Deep breath, that's it. Take a deep breath. Yeah, deep breathing. Okay. Yeah. Stand in front of him, but move to the side when, so you can punch and then move on him. It's only two more rounds. Let's go. Two rounds to go. You got to close fast. You got to close strong. Joe Casamayor and Diego Corrales arguably are the top 130 pounders in the world. They're having a rematch.